First of all, I am a, a product of the CGIAR. I worked for the CGIAR for 13 and a half years, actually. And through the CGIAR, I got the World Food Prize for my work in Nerika Rice. Nerika is a new rice for Africa that uh, I developed together with a range of partners. And that gave me the World Food Prize in 2004 for being the first person to combine the genes of the African indigenous species and the Asian indigenous rice species and uh, so it's a work that I'm really very proud of and proud of the CG for putting that together but we do know that for many years um, in the 60s and in the 70s we had a series of meetings that were held between national program at that time I was working well 60s I was just a young guy <laughs> going to school and you know but uh, there were several meetings that they called meetings of the minds which was to mend the relationship between the CG and the national programs in particular in Africa. And over the years, uh, you have this tony relationship, you know, occasionally it, uh, you, you have problems. But with the reform of the CG and with the CG emphasizing, um, emphasizing building partnerships and continuing to go with cutting edge science, but at the same time, looking at issues related to impact, which previously they, they, they had shied away from. I think everybody is happy with that. I am quite happy with that. And I believe that the CG contribution to African agriculture is very good. They have the expertise, their laboratories are the most equipped you know, in Africa. So I think that Africa has a lot to benefit and to gain from the CGIAR. And recent development, in particular, in which they now brought in the issue of impact. Because you don't conduct research and do not see the research go through to creating the impact on the ground. I think everybody is happy about that. And I am one person that subscribed to that. You know, so the, the CGIAR is a formidable partner for African agricultural research for development. And it was because of this recognition that I worked with Dave Nelson of the World Bank, you probably know him, you know, and um, he and we, together we planned what later on be became known as the Dublin process. And the Dublin process basically is to align the CG to the CADEP agenda, align the CG uh, CRPs, CG research programs, and to the country investment plans, you know, inve uh, investment programs, you know, and, 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 and that is a big, 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 big accomplishment to be able to get us talking, to be able to get us to get to that stage. And um, I think that the science agenda that we put in together, I don't know if some of you were in the side event yesterday, because for the first time we're going to add what I would say the key contents of the type of science that we want to undertake for the short term, the medium term, and the long term. Recognizing the fact that Africa cannot feed itself today, but Africa must do everything to feed itself today and to cater for the two billion Africans that will be there by 2050. So what are the key science that will enable us to double production, triple production, to be able to meet that demand for Africa and contribute to feeding the world as well. Because if you look at it, we have the resources, the available land, available cultivable land in the world. I believe 60 percent of that is in, is in Africa. Available cultivable land. So Africa has a lot to offer. But Africa must tighten its belt and, 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 and work, you know, with partners like the CGIAR that have the expertise, that have the, 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 the equipment and, and the laboratory to undertake cutting edge science that will enable us to double and triple production. The CG can help Africa to do that. So Africa is looking up to the CG for that kind of collaboration and that kind of relationship. This is why I'm so very happy with the participation of the CG in this meeting. And 
CG is coming in, and I remember Miss Ido stand, uh, standing there was the one who first made connection with uh, Piers and uh, is here, and uh, we we talked, and you said most of the CG will be here, most of them are here. Some of the CG paid for 27, 30 members of their staff to come to this meeting. We've never seen this kind of recognition and participation, thanks to you, you know, and, and, and thanks to Ido for bringing this to us. So Africa needs the CG. Africa will always need the CG. And I believe that the CG wants to collaborate with Africa. And so perfect relationship.